So here we are in the WordPress dashboard, and it's time to take a very basic tour. We'll start in the top left-hand corner and just kind of work our way across and down. So the first thing you'll notice at the top of the page is this bar that stretches all the way across the top of the dashboard. This is known as the admin bar or simply the toolbar. And it just offers you a few quick options that are easy to access from any page within the dashboard. You'll notice there is a little WordPress logo at the top left. This is something you'll probably never use, but it just offers you some quick links to some official WordPress resources like wordpress.org, the documentation, the support forums, and even a link to send feedback. The next thing on the admin bar is your site's title. So if you click on that or click visit site, they do the same thing. That will take you to your live website. So if at any point you just wanna see what your website looks like, see what your visitors are gonna see, you can just click the name of your site. The next icon here is a comment icon. If you click on that, it'll take you to the page where you manage your blog comments. And it's also got a little number there that lets you know how many comments are currently waiting for your approval. This next button that says new is probably what you'll use the most on the admin bar. And this just allows you to quickly add a new post, page, media, or user. And then jumping all the way over to the right hand side, you'll see it says howdy and then your username. And your username, by the way, if you didn't set it yourself, is normally generated from your email address. So that's where that comes from. Um, and this little menu just gives you the option to quickly edit your profile or log out. Now moving over to the left hand side of the page, you're gonna notice this big menu. This is sort of the main navigation menu within the WordPress dashboard. So we're currently on the dashboard page and you'll notice that the dashboard menu is highlighted and expanded and it has these little sub menu options underneath it. The same is true for the rest of the menu options here. Just hover your mouse over each one to expand it. So let's just go through these menu options and just give you an idea of what they all are. So dashboard, of course, is sort of the home page within the WordPress dashboard. Posts is where you manage your blog posts. Media is where you manage any media that you've uploaded to your site, photos, videos, audio, anything of that nature. Pages are similar to posts, but these are more like your static pages, like your about page and your contact page. You'll manage those there. Comments, of course, is where you manage your blog comments. Appearance is where you manage your site's theme, and you can customize everything about the way your site looks from that section. Under plugins, you can add or remove plugins to sort of customize your site's functionality. Under users, you can edit your own profile or you can add other users with the exact editing privileges you want them to have. The tools menu offers a few different tools like import and export tools. For example, if you're moving content from one site to another, that kind of stuff is gonna be here. And then under settings, we have quite a few different categories of settings for your website. Below that, there's an option to collapse this menu if you want a little more workspace. And then you can just click this little icon to bring it back. Now shifting our focus over to the dashboard page itself, you're gonna notice this big uh, section at the top that says welcome to WordPress. And then it has some links to sort of get you started. If you wanna get rid of this, you can click dismiss and then things get a lot cleaner and simpler. However, if you wanna bring it back, you can go up to the screen options menu right here and then check the box next to welcome. And the same goes for the rest of these options here. You can add or remove any of these little widgets to sort of customize your experience and you can even drag them around 
to have everything exactly where you want to have it. Now, speaking of these widgets, uh, let's just go through these to give you an idea of what they all are. At a glance shows you some very basic information about your site, such as the number of posts, pages, comments, the WordPress version, and your currently active theme. The activity widget shows just some recent things that are happening on your site, like your most recently published posts. Under Quick Draft, if you have an idea for a blog post and you just kind of want to get it out of your head, very quickly get it into a draft. You can enter a title, a little bit of content here, and it will save it to a draft. And then we have WordPress events and news. And this is basically just an official feed from the WordPress blog, as well as events that are happening near you. And you're gonna notice that as you install plugins and things like that, more widgets will pop up on this dashboard. And again, you can go up to screen options to show or hide anything you want. So that is a very basic overview of the WordPress dashboard. I know we haven't clicked into anything. We haven't left this page, but we are going to do that as we move forward. Just wanted to give you an idea of what the menus look like, what they do, where they're going to take you, and so on and so forth. So once again, this is the WordPress dashboard. And as we move forward, we're going to dive deeper into each of these different sections.